Now, it's a stage one of this LeFerrari Aperta. There's one thing about this car, just before people go off and go crazy for it, just know the fact that this is effectively a LeFerrari, the exact same A-ranked car, the only difference being the fact that it's got the hard shell removable on top. So it's just a converted LeFerrari. So yeah, expect similar kind of performance and specs in pretty much all of it, other than the cost is gonna be pretty bad throughout this event. But uh, yeah, take a look at day one here and this 117 time and the additional thing as well, which is only just because these are both finished the race, is just the three shockwaves. And three shockwaves can be pulled out at any point during the race. And considering this needs to be done 20 times, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to want to do that as a part of making use of the car. Now, yeah, even as the trial version of this car that you get access to for day one, you're just going to want to tune this up to the max for day one. Uh, because of the fact that, yeah, you're going to be making use of this car again and again and again throughout this event. Now, it's like, yeah, you may as well just put in the credits right now, if you have them, of course. And yeah, going to take a run to get this 117 time and nail the three shockwaves as well. The shockwave being just when you double tap boost with a full bar of nitro. Like the thundering start name for the start of a very long event with a whole lot of conditions in this. This one has to have at least one car hunt in it with the amount of conditions that it has. Even though, like I showed, the um, three shockwaves quest, like that needing to be done 20 times does mean the fact that you're going to have to do this race a number of times. But that will get you used to using Le Ferrari. Um, but yeah, it does also mean the fact that, like, while it's never that fun to repeatedly do the same course, yeah, it is 500 tokens that are up for grabs on this day one. So definitely, yeah, get on those and start farming the conditions. Even though, at least unlike the, um, the Sharon event, this one does not require you to have a crazy amount of conditions to take part in the later stages the only race that has a conditions requirement is on the final day and it needs 20 conditions which you can get day one now that would be my third shockwave for being counting properly <laughs> and yeah the uh, nicely tuned up version of this car makes this one fairly trivial like yeah seven seconds over the time as long as you're using that pathway you should really have not too much trouble in getting these starter blueprints from this first day again like you're gonna want to start farming this one as soon as possible to get all of the tokens out of it because yeah you need to do it 20 times using this car and the car has a refuel time of around the hour or so which means the fact that you're going to need to come back in here several times to get uh, on top of that. One thing is all that I will point out is, like I said, the following days for this, the icons for them are all not the Aperta. Which is pretty handy because it means that, like, yeah, you can clearly see the Grand Sport there. And that's the J50 from the looks of it. And the Aperta comes back, back again in four days time. So you're going to have three days to farm this one where you'll be able to use any of your Aperta fuel units to go back into stage one and grind that out. Okay, so stage one, hopefully easy enough. We'll see how this one continues through. But like I said, 1097 conditions is pretty crazy. But at least it's a lot of stuff to keep people occupied for the next few weeks. And yeah, again, the only conditions requirement is on the very final day, which is 20 conditions. So that's far smarter than what they did with the Chiron where they locked out people from that final day because that turned into a, um, I don't want to say a profanity, <laughs> but it didn't work out well. Okay, guys, there's a sub button over my head here. There is indie game reviews up there where I mess around with an indie game and a random video for my channel on that side. If these help out at all, click on those and I'll be covering each one of the days passing through and all the sub goals and the main goals as well dividing those into two videos if required or otherwise just passing into one all right guys good luck and happy farming